Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to learn how to use stepper motor with Arduino. We will use DRV8825 stepper motor driver and also driver adapter. We will control stepper motor speed using potentiometer. We will also see how to run stepper motor with constant speed and rotate it through certain number of steps. So keep watching and I will explain it in detail with code. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. There are different types of stepper motors, mainly unipolar and bipolar. In our case, we will use 4-wire bipolar 2-phase NEMA 17 stepper motor. This motor has two coils, one coil with AA- dash and another coil with BB- dash wires. We are using DRV8825 driver. This driver has better current capacity around maximum 2.2 ampere per phase. This module has following pins, enable pin, M0 to M2 pin which is used to select the step size, reset, slip, step and dir pin, V motor and ground pin which is used to supply power to stepper motor, B2, B1, A1, A2 pins which is used to connect stepper motor to driver, fault and ground pin. We will use the driver adapter so that DRV8825 driver can be easily mounted on it. This adapter has following pins, stepper motor wire pins where we need to connect stepper motor. Then it has main power supply pins to be provided to stepper motor. It has DIR and STEP pin through which we can control the stepper motor speed and direction. It also has enable pin which should be connected to ground to enable the driver. There is V and G pins as well where we need to supply 5 volt and ground. It has capacitor on board. It also has MS1 to MS3 micro stepping select pins. Let's take a look at how we can run this stepper motor now. We will be using following components. Arduino Uno. NEMA 17 Bipolar 2-Phase Stepper Motor DRV8825 Driver Driver Adapter Potentiometer Breadboard 12V AC-DC Adapter It should provide minimum 3A current and few jumper wires Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram Connect DRV8825 Driver to Adapter Attach power supply connector Connect step and DIR pin from adapter to Arduino Also connect enable pin on adapter to ground pin Connect plus 5V and ground from Arduino to breadboard Provide plus 5 and ground from breadboard to driver. Now connect stepper motor wires to adapter motor pins. Place potentiometer on breadboard. Provide 5 volt and ground to potentiometer now. Connect potentiometer to Arduino's A0 pin. First, let's take a look at code to rotate stepper motor with constant speed. First, we need to install the Excel stepper library. Go to Tools and Manage Library. Search for Excel stepper library and install it. Inside code, we need to include Excel stepper library. Then create Excel stepper object and pass driver mode and step and dir pins. In our case, D2 and D3 respectively. Inside setup function, set the max speed as 4000 steps. We will be using 1 fourth micro stepping mode. Then set the required speed. We will set it to 4000 steps which is 5 rotations per second. This motor needs 200 steps per rotation in normal mode. So in 1 fourth micro stepping mode, we will need 800 steps for complete one rotation. Inside loop function, we need to call run speed function. Upload this code into Arduino Uno now. Select Arduino Uno board and port. Hit upload. Now remove Arduino from laptop and provide 12 volt to Arduino through V in and ground pin from DC supply. Plug in adapter now. We need to set the current limit for this driver. For that, we need to adjust the VREF for this driver. The formula for VREF is I by 2, where I is rated current for this motor per phase. The rated current for this motor is 1.7 ampere. So we need to set the VREF as around 0.8 volt. Adjust this potentiometer so that voltage is around 0.8 volt. Now 
we will be using micro stepping mode as one fourth by setting MS2, which is middle pin as one. This avoids lots of issues with stepper motor. That's it. Let's see how it works. As you can see, stepper motor is rotating with constant speed, which we have set it in code. Now let's take a look at code to control the speed of motor using potentiometer. Inside loop function, read the potentiometer value using analog read function. Map this value from 0 to 4000 step. This will be our speed. Now set the speed and call run speed function. Upload the code. You can see that the speed is controlled using potentiometer. Let's see how we can use potentiometer as knob. The stepper motor will follow the potentiometer position. Read the potentiometer value using analog read function. Map this value to 0 to 800 steps which is one full rotation. Now call move to function with this position and set the speed. Please remember that we need to always call set speed function after move to function to run stepper motor with constant speed. Then call run speed to position function. Upload this code. You can see that stepper motor follows the potentiometer rotation. Now let's see how we can make the stepper motor bounce back and forth. Inside setup function, we move the stepper to 200 steps with constant speed of 4000 steps. Inside loop function, check if stepper motor reached its position by checking distance to go equal to 0. If yes, then move the stepper motor to opposite position from its current position. Then we need to call run speed to position function until the position is reached. Delay for 1 second. Upload the code. You can see the stepper motor is bouncing back and forth. I have provided the code and diagram link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.